In the jungles of Cambodia, Angie is running in fear and suddenly falls when she gets shot in her stomach. A robot suddenly appears behind her and gets ready to kill her while Major Green of the CIA watches from afar on a screen, telling the robot to speed things up. This all started 48 hours ago. While the world is at war, over 200 companies are developing very advanced robots and competing to see who gets the best military contracts first. In an airport in Cambodia, three programmers are picked up by Bowler, who refuses to answer any questions and shows the trio his gun to shut them up. They're taken to a lousy apartment so they can set up their equipment, but only Kroger and Fielding stay while Jance is taken away to set up a drop point link. Bowler informs Green of this, who sends off a plane with four BR robots to the Golden Triangle. In the jungle, Angie and five other doctors on a humanitarian mission get their van damaged by a spike trap, so now they'll have to locate the village on foot. Nearby, Jance and Bowler also arrive and Bowler carefully guides Jance around because he's capable of finding explosives hidden among the plants. They also have to stay hidden whenever a patrol walks by. Eventually they find the right spot and Jance quickly sets up the communication equipment. Bowler also puts up something he just calls backup plan. Once everything is working, Green gains access to the cameras while Kroger is informed by his boss Foster there may be an objective change and the CIA is involved. He's shocked to hear this and asks Jance about it, only to suddenly be silenced by Bowler. The doctors walk near them but don't see them, so they keep going until they hear a weird noise. Luckily it's just a bunch of kids playing to be soldiers. Afterward, Jance and Bowler return to the apartment and the plane finally drops the robots in the jungle. Robot BR-4's parachute doesn't open correctly and they immediately lose its signal. BR-3 has some issues with the comm module, which is dangerous because if they lose the comm, they lose control of the robot and it'll be able to target anyone thanks to the advanced AI. While the robots start moving out, the doctors reach a village where they meet Kayala and Mason. Their conversation is interrupted by the arrival of the local smugglers, who aggressively push Mason and hit Jordan. They don't care that the doctors are volunteers, the smugglers tell them to leave or they'll kill them. Meanwhile the robots arrive at the setup Jance left earlier, and Bowler forces the programmers to update the codes with the new mission objective, which will take a while. They also detect that BR-4 is finally working, although it isn't responding properly. Back to the doctors, they'll spend the evening in Kayala's village while the smugglers watch them, promising to leave in the morning. Jordan realizes that Mason used to be a Navy SEAL because of his tattoo and calls him out for not doing anything against the smugglers, which almost escalates into a fight until the others stop them. The next morning, the tech team is done updating the code and is worried because it didn't look like just a simulation like they were promised. Following this new code, the robots are arming themselves and starting to move without their input. Meanwhile the village kids are playing in the jungle when they come across a fallen parachute, finding BR-4 underneath. Kayala's son Leap takes its module, which causes the robot to start moving. Terrified, the kids immediately run away. BR-4 checks its own system and when it discovers its module is missing, it checks its footage and proceeds to search for Leap. In the village, the smugglers are trying to force the doctors to leave. Lep interrupts them to show the module to his dad and smuggler leader Prak, but he doesn't take him seriously. At that moment, the robots appear outside the village, and Green wants them to attack the smugglers. The tech team at first refuses because there are civilians, but Bowler threatens to kill them until they activate the orders. The robots immediately open fire on the village and the smugglers try their best to defend themselves, but their bullets can't do much against such strong armor and soon they're dying all over the place. One of the kids gets shot in the head, so Mason rushes to save Leap, leaving him with Kayala and the doctors in the shack before hiding with Prak to discuss a strategy. Another kid reaches for the weapon of a fallen smuggler to defend himself, but before the robot can shoot, Fielding stops it. She's against killing civilians, but Bowler says they're all witnesses so they should be eliminated too. Jance tries to protest too, but Bowler points his gun at him, so Kroger reactivates the robot and this kid gets shot as well. Then the robots move around the village, killing any remaining smugglers and even shooting inside shacks. Mason and Prak carefully sneak around and enter Kayala's shack. Prak tries to leave with just Leap, but Mason stops him because the boy wants to stay with Kayala. After a tense moment, Prak goes away, and the group hears a weird noise outside, a wounded woman is crying over her dead child. The doctors want to help her, but the robot gets there first and kills her. At that moment, the robot detects the group's presence in the shack and opens fire. The group immediately runs away and Mason shows them a spot to hide in before running back to distract the robot. When he appears on camera, the tech team freezes the robot, since obviously Mason isn't a smuggler. Seeing this, Mason tells the others it's safe to come out, but now all their faces are on camera. Green orders the tech team to eliminate them all and leave no witnesses, especially when he learns that Mason is a former SEAL. The robot is activated again, so Prak comes back and shoots at it to distract it so Kayala and Leap can also escape. Mason and the others keep on running and rescue some kids, but the group scatters when they enter the jungle, so the children get shot anyway. Minutes later, BR-4 arrives at Kayala's shack, looking for clues about Leap. A local tries to stop it, but the robot kills him in seconds. Then it uses a tablet to access the internet to learn lots of things about humanity, 
It seems the AI is slowly becoming self-aware. It removes the guy's brain and heart, but it can't understand them. Next it tries on the guy's face, but it quickly discards it and goes out to track Leap's footprints. In the jungle, the scene from the beginning returns, Angie is running only to suddenly get shot and fall. BR2 takes her passport and scans it, now Green and the tech team know the runners are just volunteer doctors. However BR2 still smashes Angie's head with its foot. Meanwhile Kayala is running with Mason, whose hand gets wounded by a stray bullet. While trying to hide, they find three of the doctors, Jordan, Dez, and Tian. They decide to spend the night hidden in a cave, and the doctors give Mason first aid for his hand. Later that night, Dr. Bao is running through the jungle alone, but he suddenly slips and falls, which hurts his leg. He cries out in pain and is heard by Mason's group, but when Jordan tries to leave to help him, Mason stops him before he can give away their location. Bao continues to flee by dragging his leg but he can't move too fast, so soon BR2 finds him and kills him. Suddenly the tech team discovers that BR4 is hacking into their system and tries to communicate with them. The trio is unable to access its files to stop it, and now BR4 is uploading itself. Green orders them to terminate BR4, but when the team tries to activate the self-destruction code, RB4 just blocks it. They also consider activating Bowler's backup bomb, but they can't because it would destroy Jance's setup and they would lose their connections to the other robots. Bowler loses his mind over the potential consequences and pulls a bunch of wires to block the hack, which also loses their connection to every robot and cuts the power in the apartment. Robots 1 through 3 are now frozen, but BR4 continues to look for Leap, meaning its AI is uncapped. Once the tech team gets the computers going again, they make a new plan, BR1 will go after Mason's group but BR2 and 3 will be tasked to stop BR4. The next morning, Mason leaves the cave and finds Bao's body. He also sees BR2, so he carefully digs out mine and throws it as far as possible. While BR2 follows the explosion, Mason retrieves the group and guides them to the smuggling plant, where they suddenly hear some shooting from the jungle. Leap, Prak, and the last Dr. Wendy appear running away from the fire, and both groups finally reunite. While Prak finds his secret weapon pit, BR1 shows up and opens fire, so everyone runs to hide in a shack. Unfortunately a stray bullet hurts Tian's knee. Suddenly BR1 reaches through the shack wall and drags Dez out, but Mason throws a hammer at the robot's head and makes it miss the shot, only hurting Dez's ear. Then Mason runs out so the robot follows him and the others can bring Dez back into the shack. BR1 keeps on advancing and finds Prak, bringing him down with a shot. An upset Leap comes out of hiding to show the robot that he has the module, which is seen by Green and the team on the cameras. Kayala runs to protect Leap, but before BR1 can shoot them, Prak jumps in and gets killed instead. Then Mason comes out too to fight the robot, but he's quickly beaten down. Soon Jordan follows him using a weapon he found in the shack, only to fall and lose it. Mason jumps back into the fight to distract BR1 and Jordan runs to hide in the shack. Afterward, Mason rushes to the weapon pit and sets up a landmine. When BR1 is close enough, Mason shoots the mine, causing an explosion that hurts his leg. The robot is down but still functioning, so Mason runs to start beating it up. Bowler makes the team activate the self-destruction mode, but luckily Mason sees the light and runs away right before it explodes. Back in the shack, Leap cries for Prak, and Kayala reveals she's seriously injured. Mason comes back and cries for help, so Tian and Wendy try to save her. Once everyone is patched up, the group leaves, unaware that the tech team is now tracking the module. Meanwhile BR3 finally finds and attacks BR4. However BR4 has downloaded lots of new abilities from the internet that BR3 doesn't know how to deal with, so in just a few minutes, BR4 overpowers 3. Bowler wants BR3 to self-destruct, but Foster orders them not to do it because he wants to save BR4's advanced brain. Then BR4 uses 3 to access the team's computers again and says thank you before it starts uploading itself. This is so serious that Bowler and Green decide to ignore Foster's orders and tell the team to activate BR3's self-destruction, but BR4 blocks them and removes 3's module to put it in its own head to keep on uploading. Bowler decides he'll have to go to the jungle and deal with BR4 himself, but Kroger offers an alternative, a new module with advanced tactics to activate BR3 again. While they discuss the details, Bowler realizes Fielding is outside and calling her husband. He goes after her and asks for her phone, but Fielding starts running. After a long chase, she ends up at a dead end, so she grabs a pipe and hits Bowler to then keep going. Unfortunately she falls and hurts her ankle, allowing Bowler to catch up to her and kill her with a knife. All this is heard by her husband through her phone, which Bowler finds and uses to track the number. Next, Bowler returns to the apartment and tells Kroger and Jance to pack up because they've been compromised, pretending not to know where Fielding is. After they leave the apartment, Bowler blows it up. In the USA, Fielding's husband is killed in his own home by an assassin sent by Bowler. Back in the jungle, Mason's group climbs some rocks to put more distance between them and the robots. All the healthy people climb up and the hurt ones are pulled up, but they're wasting so much time that the tech team sets their computers up at a new location and activates the robots again. Soon BR2 finds the group, but only Jordan is left on the ground. 
After a few failed shots, he starts running away and hides among the rocks. Since BR2 is coming closer, he considers self-deleting, however the group yells his name and distracts the robot. This allows Jordan to escape safely and reunite with the group. Unfortunately BR2 ends up climbing after him, so they throw a rock at it to make it fall. In the meantime, Bowler leaves with the new module but first makes sure to threaten Jance's and Kroger's loved ones so they won't try anything. Soon Bowler arrives at the jungle and puts the module in an explosive pack into BR3, who immediately runs off while revealing it can now talk. Meanwhile Mason's group continues to move through a cave, but after lots of walking they need to take a break. While the doctors discover Dez is deaf, they suddenly hear a noise and get scared, but it turns out it's just a blind man with no grasp of reality. Then Mason takes the group deep into the cave to spend the night safely. The next morning, Kayala isn't responding and the doctors notice she's suffering internal bleeding, so they start working on her wound. At that moment BR2 shows up in the cave, so Jordan and Mason move out to keep an eye on it. Unfortunately BR2 hears Mason and starts chasing him, causing him to trip and get hurt. Jordan makes some noise to get the robot's attention away from Mason. The group can't move yet because of Kayala, so Jordan shoots at BR2 to no avail. Suddenly Mason comes back and throws a rock at the robot to make it follow him, and as BR2 runs, it falls into a rock pit and gets stuck. Once the doctors are done with Kayala, they leave the cave by walking around the robot, but Jordan gets tired of it and shoots it. Not far from there, Bowler is following BR3, who steps on mine yet keeps going unaffected. In the cave, BR2 finally manages to free itself. Moments later, the group makes it to some old ruins, but Kayala dies in Mason's arms. While they grieve for her at the temple, BR2 finds them again, so they start to run. Leap leads Dez, Wendy, and Tian out of the area while Jordan and Mason stay to distract the robot. They shoot a couple of times to no avail, so instead they sneak around and manage to escape into the jungle to reunite with the others. Mason finally realizes that BR2 must be tracking the module and throws it away, which immediately makes the robot turn in the opposite direction. BR2 finds the module, so the tech team makes it follow the footprints instead. It quickly finds the group and injures Wendy with a shot while Dez accidentally steps on mine. Next the robot grabs Leap so Mason jumps in to save him, causing BR2 to break its leg. Suddenly BR4 shows up and grabs BR2's head to start uploading, so the tech team has to cut off the connection to stop it. As BR4 tears off 2's head, Kroger reminds Jance that their loved ones are in danger and convinces them to get back online, only to discover BR2's dead. In the jungle, Leap tries to take Mason away, but BR4 stops them and asks them what it is. They don't have an answer, so BR4 picks up his original module and puts it back on to continue uploading, forcing the tech team to cut off the connection again. Meanwhile the doctors discover Dez is still alive, but he shares his last words before dying in their arms. Back to BR4, it asks Mason and Leap some existential questions on why during wartime some lives matter and others don't. As it wonders if its ability to learn means it's alive, it's suddenly tackled by BR3 and a vicious robot fight ensues. While the machines beat each other up, the doctors rescue Mason and Leap, only to be blocked by Bowler who immediately shoots Jordan. Mason tells the group to run while he starts a gunfight with Bowler, but he has to hide when the robots get too close. Bowler tries to approach him, but luckily Mason finds mine and throws it at him. Soon both robots fall and struggle on the ground while it's revealed that Bowler is still alive. Mason asks him to fight him like a man, but before they can start a knife fight, BR4 grabs Bowler's leg and makes him fall. The group comes back from Mason and Green orders the team to kill them all with the three self-destruction, but BR4 blocks them. Then it tells the group that life is indeed important, asking them to run. Once the group is far enough, BR4 self-destructs, bringing down Bowler and BR3. Green calls Foster to complain about this, but Foster considers the test successful and cancels the deal with the CIA before letting the tech team go. However a furious Green activates a bomb left by Mason and kills them both. In the jungle, the group manages to escape safely, but it's also shown Bowler is actually alive. Moments later in the robot factory, it's revealed that BR4 did finish uploading itself and is now in the other robots. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.